Hi guys, welcome again to another episode of Architects Tour. Last episode, we watched part 1 of Solaris building series. And for this episode, we will continue our study about Solaris building. Its features, design, and we've also made a 3D animation to understand more about this building. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our episode for today. And guys, we can see these landscape areas and greeneries. That is called Green Ramp of Solaris Building. The total length of that ramp is 1.5 kilometers, encircling the perimeter of the building going up from the ground floor up to the roof deck. That is one of the striking features of this building. This green ramp has some 3.0 meters width and the ramp are wide enough unlike the typical ramps we see that are usually 1.0 meters or 1.2 meters in width. And having a total of 1.5 kilometers of green ramp. And for the Archi students and designers, they used 1 is to 20 ramp slope for this building. That is what's considered safe for the cyclists, joggers, and wheelchair users. Always consider 1 is to 20 ramp slope. In our building animation, we can see these are the pile foundations. The ASU rooms are located here. The main atrium is here at the center of the two building blocks. This is the slanted operable glass roof. And this is the ramp roof trellis at the roof deck. I was intrigued by this dark painted steel. And these are wall mounted bike rack. Saris brand. The bicycles are upstand here instead of the usual position for bicycles. The bicycles wheels are attached to this wall. These bicycle racks are quite not harmonious to the design of this building but maybe because a lot of bike users occupy the bicycle parking that is why they installed these wall mounted bike racks to accommodate all the bicycle rack necessities. So for designers, maybe you can also consider these wall-mounted bike racks. Here we are now at the outside of Solaris building. But even though we are outside, we can still see partially the main atrium. The design really considered openness. The main atrium can be seen from the outside, not like the usual buildings that the main atrium is blocked by glass and concrete walls. But as we can see, the main atrium is very visible from the outside of the building. We can see in this northeast perspective the pile foundations, the basement one and the basement two, the green ramp from the ground floor going to the rooftop. Here is the slanted operable roof and the rooftop garden. Now we can see these white louvers, they are called sun shading louvers. It encircles around the building. Its function is to lessen the heat of the sun that enters the building. And to prevent harmful glare to the eyes of the office employees of this building because almost the entire walls is made up of glass walls. 
and they call that sun shading louvers. And the total length of the sun shading louvers is around 10 kilometers. And we made this section showing the solar light shaft. The light shaft from the operable glass roof enters this shaft and lightens up these office areas. And there are also glass railings at the upper floors so people can look at the sidewalk and the road from the upper floors of the building. And that's it for our episode guys and I hope you enjoyed our topic about Solaris building here in Singapore. I hope you learned something about architecture, building, design and construction. And if you have any building that you want to be featured or any building in your mind, don't forget to write on the comment section below. And write what building or structure that you want us to study or have an additional information about. Okay guys, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe so that I can make more videos about architecture, building, design, and construction. Thank you for watching Architects Tour.